Hey guys, we got a couple of kinds. I'm here today with Brian from Grappler Squash. We prepare for July 5, 6 at Mandalay Bay. It's going to be a great event. And uh, I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to answer a question about grips at Spider Guard. A lot of people have, have a problem in passing Spider Guard. The first important thing about Spider Guard is this when I get to my sleeves and put the foot in my hip, I can change for the foot in my, in my arm. For sure. If you have this kind, this kind of the, 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 the spider guard, it's more easy to, to, to pass, okay? For sure, I'm gonna close my arm beat, I'm gonna look for control his paint in the bottom, I'm gonna up here, I'm gonna pass. This is easy, okay? Or if you have got like this one here, close the door there, I try to control his paint, I move the paint down, yeah? I step over his, 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 his leg, and this is the grip, Pass on the side. All this is the typical part is actually the guy grab and make the scream or, or the last of both arms. And also you have very strong grip, it's typical. I move my hands inside. Sometimes I did not pass, it did not sweep. If I look bad, I want to pass, right? So I want to stay here. So what I need to do? I release first one grip from my sleeve. I try to do this, it doesn't work, right? Yeah, and I have leverage, I have strength, I have very good grip. I'm gonna put my knee up behind. Come see the tail here, close, please. You see the hand here? I put my knee behind his hand. And now I'm gonna press my hand down to the ground like this one. What's happening to him? He releases the hand. I go immediately here on his pants, bring the leg back, squeeze my knees, and again I'm gonna push her. Look. This grip out. From here, I have so many options for pass. I can just go up, step there, here. I will just can hold the hand pass. The most important can release the grip. Also, I was free from the from the last one. Oh, it's grip on the spider guard. It's grip on the leg. It's grip on the one. My hands was tipped on side. It's like pass. I'm gonna do this one. I put my knee behind. Under, sorry, under his hand. I'm gonna put my knee in the ground. I press, look. I'm gonna show them the way. I'm gonna grab my sleeve. Just, just the sleeve. So I put uh, the hand. Now, go like you can see. So I press my hands down, look. See? I give a little wrist lock, force his finger to open. Because he cannot follow my, 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 my arm together. So, let me scream again. I put the hand, my knee, behind his hand, press, put it here, Liz. I grab here, step back, put the knees. This way I can have support again for release. Let the paint step, pass the guard. I do what I like to do here. I, got, I like to go to the seat belt, because if he try to roll from there, I'm gonna give the back a jump first still here, take this back, or Try roll back after I pass it here. If you try roll back, I go for the pegatone. Alright, I wish I answered the question about how to pass the spider guard. The first thing is spider guard, it's these two, two screamers foot. Very difficult. Sometimes make you tired, open space for his sweep. If you use the strategy about the knee, release the hand, control the leg. Step, and this is the second one. He pass, gonna work, all right, okay? I see you guys at Mandalay Bay for the UFC Expo. Grab this quest, and don't forget, nothing more important than Jiu Jitsu.